things. Many people understand it. It doesn't matter. If that person comes, it doesn't matter if he is, uh, uh, you know, a, a high school dropout. No, it doesn't mean that. Fazawiju means open the door and say, you're welcome, let's talk. Let's start talking. So Islam does not say, no, these other things are not important. As many people throw their daughters into marriage relationships that have the other person incompatible. Incompatible. Now, what is ma'roof now, but was not ma'roof before, is that with time, cultures did define people within cultural shells, making it difficult, not impossible, but difficult to cross the cultural barrier. Rarely do we find intercultural uh, uh, marriages that succeed. Rarely do we find that. It doesn't mean that this is an impossibility. What it means, it requires a special skills and dedication that there are other things to bypass the cultural barrier that would make the couple quite willing to bring into their marriage the other things that are equally important in the marriage. We cannot dismiss and say, no, 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 this person, uh, you know, comes from, uh, uh, for example, uh, you know, that country and he does that and that country is not. Forget about that country is known. Because there's no such thing as a country defining an individual. Quite often we hear, oh, but you know what? Uh, uh, you know, Pakistanis are such and such. There's no such thing. Or Egyptians? No, Egyptians are such and such. Or Lebanese are such. There's no such thing. There's an individual who is this, an individual who is that. But there are cultural things that other people may not be comfortable with. May not be comfortable with. For example, the way Lebanese do their weddings is completely alien to the way that Pakistanis do their weddings. And if a Pakistani is married to a Lebanese, you know the first point where they would really bring everything down is, how are we going to celebrate the marriage? The urs, the walima. What are we going to do? Is she going to wear red or is she going to wear white? Or is she going to wear this or is she going to wear that? And then that is going to break it. Why? Because they thought they were going to be able to cross the cultural barrier, but they couldn't do that. Had they been really so strong on the first two criteria, the religiosity and morality, then other things can be overcome. But if they are not that strong, they are okay, they are uh, adequate, but not very strong, then they won't be able to cross the other barriers. So. Deen and Akhlaq, you're welcome. Let's sit and talk. Now, there are many secondary things that you are justified as a parent to really discuss with the potential groom, potential husband. You may want to ask about uh, your job. Do you have uh, a career, uh, your education, uh, basically you can, by the way, and, and we will talk about the legal things we can include in a marriage in a marriage contract. I would say, without exaggeration, 98.5% of Muslims are not familiar with things you may add to the marriage contract. They don't know. They, 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 what? What do you mean add to the marriage contract? You may include, for example, as a father, as a father, you may include 
obviously, on behalf of your daughter, you are the wali, you are the wakil, that you would like your daughter to stay within, for example, at 200 kilometers of her family dwelling. That you don't want your daughter to uh, 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 go and live in California. You may. And if the husband says yes and he signs, then he cannot, even if he gets a job in California, he cannot do it if that is part of the Abd al-Nikah. And there are other things, we will discuss that. But the father can now sit and discuss certain things. Now, common sense says, and, and these are things, you will say, okay, how would I know? I will give you an example and you will definitely tell me, oh no, he can't ask him for that. You know, can you as a father say to him, one of the conditions, okay, everything is great, but I have one condition, I want you to buy my daughter a BMW. Hassan even smiled because he knows that that doesn't fly. Okay, this is not a condition that is acceptable. You can't. You can't even talk about it. You cannot talk, you cannot talk about, I want you to buy a house and register it in my daughter's name. You can't do that. You cannot do, unless you say, I want this as the mother. And then it is up to that person to say, I accept or I don't accept. But you cannot have a mahar and then say, I would not approve of my daughter living in an apartment. You can't say that. Even if she was living in a big house with her family, you cannot tell her husband who has a career, and, and, but he wants to live in an apartment uh, uh, according to certain uh, conditions. And you cannot really request things that are not ma'roof, they are not acceptable. Now, in your questions, we may expand on that, okay? Now, for the girl, for the girl, it is these two that are for the young man, but expanded, but expanded. In some accounts it says, liha. But I find enough evidence to read it as Lima Laha. Wali Jamaliha, Wali Nasabiha, Wali Diniha, Fadh Far Bidati Dini Taribat Yadak. Now, for the girl, for the girl, you may actually look at four criteria to start with. You know, uh, your mother, your sister uh, would go and visit a family that you might have recognized a daughter at a function or at university. You uh, actually, you do not go to that girl and say, you know, uh, I'd like to chill with you a little bit. You like that. <laughs> You don't say that. You are not commanded to just say no. You, you can't really look at Muslim girls at the university. Islam does not say that. But do not look at them with lust. And this is, you know, what we will talk about later. Because there's a difference between looking for the purpose of ihsan, for the purpose of finding a marriage partner, this is your niyyah, that I am looking for that particular purpose, I found somebody that I felt comfortable with, and most often, it is jamal, jamaliha, most often. I see a girl, what do I see? I see her looks. Okay, I don't know about her deen, except, you know, I may see that she has the hijab, that she really dresses in a very modest way, that, okay, so this is now, I see, but that is no guarantee. That is no guarantee. Okay? And, ma laha, we will talk about ma laha, some people read as ma liha, okay? 
and Nasebiha. I may ask, you know, some people, uh, do you know this girl? Oh yes, uh, this is the daughter of so and so. Oh yes, I know him. You know, he's a very good person. I, you know, so now I have an idea. Now I go to my mother, and I say, you know, I would like you to really go and. Uh, speak to the family of so and so. I, I you know, where do they live? I ask somebody and she goes and she would speak with the family and she may actually closely come and look at her and then come back with a report that, you know, she doesn't look very good. You know, we have to Islamically say she is justified in her observation. Now, he may say, but I'm okay with, with her as is. Now, she has to go back, because now it is him. She cannot be the one to decide and say, no, 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 no. I don't like her because she is full here, and she is full there, and she is this, and she, she cannot. Now, if she says, it's fine by me. لا تضحك. بكون بده يتجوز. Okay, so he because beauty, by the way, beauty is not physical. Beauty is not, and and this is not only Islamic. يعني معلش even if we say oh Munir please mention this, but we know that in the beauty pageants they discovered some decades. That oh, we are not going to look at, at the, the physical beauty. We are going to interview, we are going to ask intelligence questions, we are going to do this, this, and then the personality and the physical look will be put together and decide about beauty. So it is not to say Islamic. It is something that people recognize and Islamically we know that beauty is something that comes in a package. In a package. So beauty is justified and the family lineage is very important. There are other ahadith that really explain the main statements. This is genetics. This is heredity. And this is sociology, anthropology, you can put it in all of those fields of science. Which means, make sure you choose well for where you are going to mix your lineage. Choose well. Because, because lineage can introduce many unwelcome traits that can be a social trait it can be a hereditary trait it can be a cultural trait so make sure you choose well now let us combine why do I find enough support for Lima Laha because lima liha means for the wealth she possesses. Now, if she happens to be a wealthy female that you want to be married to, then all of her wealth is hers. You cannot touch a penny. You cannot touch a penny. So to say lima liha means why? What benefit? But lima laha. لما لها من الصفات لما لها من الـ الـ يعني العادات الحميدة التي التي يعني يحب الرجل أن تكون في زوجته يعني لما لا for the traits that she possesses that are attractive to that particular person I like I like my wife to be a good cook because I always used to give my mother a very hard time. If there is extra salt, I will not eat. If there is this, if there is a, So I want my wife to be number one, a very good cook. If she is not, I don't want her. 
She can be the most beautiful woman if she doesn't know how to cook.